Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the LVGL keyboard. The keyboard is one special button matrix. For the keyboard, we have two things needed to understand. The first thing is the basic knowledge for the keyboard. The second thing is how to customize one keyboard to fit our special application. Okay, let's take a look at the first thing, uh, the basic knowledge for the keyboard. First, let's open our project from previous video. Uh, let's remove the code from previous lessons. Uh, we will remove the code from here to here. Okay, it will to here. We remove the code. We will uh, create one keyboard application. Use the most simple code. Okay, so let's borrow some code from the LVGL examples. Uh, click here, click widgets, click the keyboard, click the first one. Okay, so what we need is from here to here, copy it and put it here. So first things we change the function name, uh, which is, uh, it is, it is my keyboard, my keyboard. Okay. Second, for a keyboard, if we want to use one keyboard, we need to create one keyboard object. We use this function to create the keyboard object here. Second, uh, for the keyboard, it need one uh, space to show the keyboard output. Here, we create one text area to show the keyboard output. So we change the code like this a little bit. Okay, so this is text area to show the keyboard output. And next, we can remove all other code. Okay, so the last things we set the connection between the keyboard and text area. Okay, so this is the most simple way to create one keyboard application. Okay, we save it and uh, we copy this function name and put it in, uh, put it here replace the old function name, uh, save it. Okay, so now we run the call and take a look what will happen. Okay, so this is the uh, interface for the application. This is the result for the call. The first things, uh, of course, we can input some letters into the text area, okay? The second thing is uh, we can switch the keyboard from the lowercase to uppercase. Click here and switch back. By default, the keyboard is a lowercase uh, letters. And also we can switch to digital, uh, to digital letters uh, like this, this, and we also can put input some symbols here okay and we also can delete uh, delete some letters we can move our cursor to left and to right okay and we can change a new night uh, like uh, change a new night uh, like this so we have lots of function uh, for the keyboard already only by three lines of the code one two three okay so how the keyboard 
uh, make so so many functions how the keyboard is working okay so let's take a look the uh, keyboard source code to understand how the keyboard uh, work so the source code is like this uh, is here source widgets and keyboard it is here for the source code the first things uh, let's take a look here okay the class define the keyboard class define the keyboard the base class for the keyboard uh, it is a button matrix class so that's why we say the keyboard is one special button matrix the second thing uh, the width and the height the default width uh, is 100% uh, of the parent object so this is uh, uh, this is use the percentage to define the width uh, we can take a look at the uh, declaration here and we can take a look the description here percentage value uh, this is the percentage value okay the so x came from uh, 0 to 100 to 1000 100 is uh, is the full size of the parent object okay so this is uh for the width is 100 percent so like uh this keyboard is the width of this keyboard is 100 percent of the parent screen and this height is the 50 percentage of the screen okay so this is the default size for the keyboard so next let's take a look the constructor for the keyboard okay for the constructor uh, it set the default more uh, set the default more as the lower case text uh, that's why we when we first run the call uh, it will be lowercase uh, it will be lowercase like this okay so next um the position of the keyboard uh, in the constructor uh, function it allies the keyboard to the parent object uh, to the bottom middle of the parent object so that's why the keyboard will on this position uh, it is on the bottom middle of the parent object okay so next let's take a look at the uh, keyboard default event callback the de default uh, event callback F for the keyboard default event callback uh, the first thing it gets the target of course here it is the keyboard for the keyboard it use this function to get the button id huh? it use this function to get the button id we have used this function in previous video uh, in the calculate video before okay get the button id once we get the button id uh, we can process in lots of things according to the id we can get the button text so here this is actually the button id uh, it's the same with this one so we can get the text of the button if we get the text uh, we can compare with the default setting if it is a lowercase abc uh, we can set the uh, keyboard more as the lowercase text if it is the uppercase abc uh, so we set the keyboard as the uppercase if it is like this one so uh, we set it is like a, a special more uh, in our case is a digital and some special symbol more okay so if the text 
is a symbol clause or symbol keyboard. It can send the cancel event to our text area. The text area receives the cancel event. It can remove all the input text. Okay. So if it is OK key, huh? if it is OK button, it will send the ready event to the text area. The text area can continue to processing the uh, received text, uh, like send the uh, keyboard text to other controller to, to display, okay? So next, uh, if it is enter, uh, we will edit the a new line for the keyboard. Uh, it is for this one. Uh, edit a new line. Uh, okay. So this is for enter. Uh, this one is move to uh, left. This one is move to right. It's like this and. Uh, uh, move to right and move this is move to left this is move to right okay so match this function left and right so this uh, backspace is to delete delete the character okay so uh is this one uh, it can delete some letters here and this is for the uh plus and minus this function similar uh, our previous videos uh, calculate plus and minus it is um, so if the uh, the previous symbol is minus uh, it can change to plus and the previous symbol is plus, it can change it to minus, okay? Okay, so for the default, for the default input text, uh, it is here. So this just put the button text into the text area, okay? So like this, so like this. So this is the basic function for the uh, keyboard. This is the default event callback function for the keyboard. We also can edit the custom uh, event callback function to the keyboard. We will talk uh, talk it about uh, talk about it in the future video. Okay, okay. So uh, in this video, we only use three line uh, three three line call. We use this three line call to uh, implement one keyboard function, uh, one keyboard application, and we uh, we understand the back the uh, the back mechanism mechanism for the keyboard uh, in the source code. Okay, okay. So uh, this is this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.